for me, using Henselite products is, is great. I really love the XG. The Arc is wonderful, I think, because I'm really able to read my weight off the Arc and uh, it's, yeah, really reliable bowl. The Morewell Bowling Club is your place for fun and food. Come and try bowls and make new friends. Have coffee or bring the family for lunch or dinner. The Morewell Bowling Club. Visit us today on Hazelwood Road. Good morning, everybody, and welcome to the 10th and final day of the Henselight Victoria Open. We are at the finals day again. We're at Morewell Bowling Club. My name is Joshua Thornton, uh, country manager for Northwest Victoria, and I am joined by Matthew Otobre. Morning, JT. How you going, buddy? Oh, we've made it. <laughs> day 10. Yes. <laughs> and we should have another cracking day of bowls to be live streamed and commentated on. We've got a cracking day weather-wise. Yeah, no, the, it's probably the best day we've had in a while. Um, this morning we have the ladies' pairs semi-final on the live stream. We have uh, Deborah Bates and Kirsten Day, both from Yarra Glen, playing against Anita Jenkins and Tris Doolan. Uh, as you see on the screen, uh, the leads have played two bowls each. And... Uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to this. We also have another ladies semi-final in the next door rink. And we also have the two men's pair semi-finals going on neighbouring rinks as well. Yeah, we'll keep you informed. Scores all day. All bowlers using XGs, JT. Well, Henslide are our major partner of this event. It only makes sense. Deborah's actually using size zero, I found out. Yeah. So you did do some homework? Just a little bit. <laughs> um, Tris was obviously our ladies triples winner yesterday. Part of that combination with uh, Sophie Kurzman and Kate Arjun Bowden. And her partner, Nito, who's leading for her, um, is a current Victorian ladies state player. AJ, the nickname? Yep. Looking at the head, I reckon uh, Deborah's taken the honours in the first end in the Leeds battle. It is close, though. I could be wrong, actually. How well am I going? <laughs> Trish will probably fix it all up anyway. Yeah, she seemed to be uh, liking the green in the roll-up. No, maybe. Morning, Andy. First uh, commenter this morning in our stream, and he's watching from Devon in the UK. And the music is pumping. Just looking to add that, Matt. Even Morning, Val. Down on uh, AJ's bowl. Val is saying go Joe and Julie, which is on the rink next door. There's shot, JT. What's well, the Chris. definite? And if you are joining us on the live streams this morning, be sure to say hello, ask any questions. Yeah, maybe post what you think's been the uh, best game for this uh, Vic Open. <laughs> yeah, ask, ask Matty some really challenging questions. I'm not sure he can answer them today. Day 10, I'm just, you know, <laughs> feeling it. 
killing her, you reckon? <laughs> oh, oh, Kirsten. If you can hear uh, <laughs> that background chirping, it's our events and competition manager, G Jimmy Whitehead. He's, He's done an okay job, hasn't he? <laughs> <laughs> Morning, Kenny Whitteson. Good mate of mine from all the way back in Corowa. And Neil Robinson. Oh. As in, is that Neil Robinson that used to be at Geelong West? Is that the Neil Robinson I'm thinking about? He's yeah, I reckon it is. Las Vegas, lucky oh, man. Wait. All on the black, Neil. All on the black. Tris just stopped in for the draw. The second ball, I reckon, would have been right on the jack. Did you say ball then, and not bowl? bowl? <laughs> I sounded like ball to me. I said bowl. <laughs> oh, I'm not sure, Matty. Wasn't far away. Again, the speed was pretty good. Yeah. Morning, Knowles. Watching from Rapanyup. And uh, morning, Phil, from Silverdale. I have no idea where Silverdale is in New South Wales. For those maybe watching for the f first time from us uh, broadcasting from Morwell, um, I have an impression of how this green works a little bit, Matty, as Kirsten's bowl coming down. Yeah, good oh, bowl. Great bowl. Great Might start. have just rolled a little bit further. Morning, Morty. Morning, Rowdy. Um, it's unforgiving in its line, this green, as in it's a really good, nice green in terms of it's quick. It's true, but you miss your line. It seems to you miss big, you know, and... Uh, um, it's kind of a draw and drive green, I feel. It's hard to play the swingers because of it. Morning, Victor. AJ's dad is watching. Just one, JT. One it is. Good start for Deborah and Kirsten. We are playing three bowl pairs, and it's 15 ends with a two-hour 15 time limit. Going to get a short end, JT. You know, I'm trying to work out where the minimum length little yeah, dash is, but now we've got seating across the other side of the green. It's hard to say. Oh, we're easy in. That wasn't deliberate. She actually dropped it out of her hand. In easy. <laughs> Thanks, Danny. I'm um, no, I, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's been a big week. I've been here less than everybody else, so I'm actually pretty cruisy. Matty, on the other hand, he might be really feeling it right now. Yeah, day 10. It's been a long, long Victorian Open. Uh, cracking start from AJ, Anita Jenkins. Morning, Julie. Are the men's pairs live streamed today? Yeah, we will live stream the men's pairs final today. Morning, Westy.
Karen. Uh, good morning, Karen. No, actually totally different surfaces. Um, I actually don't know what Trilogans, well, the brand of Trilogans. It's definitely a woven carpet, but I don't know who's um, done it, as in the manufacturer. But uh, more wools have two needle punch greens. They're there, and that both of them uh, are different. This one out here is running 16 seconds. It's probably the older style needle punch. Um, you can probably see... The black fibres a little bit more in this one. Uh, the one on the other side of the, the clubhouse behind us, um, it's the newer style needle punch. And um, it's a fraction slower, probably between 14 and 14 and a half seconds. So out there at the moment, we have uh, the continuation of our under 18 mixed pairs. It's the first time we've had that event at the Vic Open. And um, they're up to round four. And guess what? The kids were here, crack of dawn, waiting, raring to go, Maddie. Yeah, great addition to the uh, Victorian Open. AJ's on a great track here, JT. Yeah, some really good leads bowls this end. Oh, oh look. T two bowls each inside a foot, foot and a half. Deborah just apologising for the jack roll. <laughs> Hasn't hurt her. No. Look at, she said she's got two bowls inside a foot and a half. Great leads bowls from both players. And they got one behind each too. I don't think any of them would be uh, disappointed about that. Up to the skippers now, Matty. Morning, Johnny Tucker. Goulburn Valley bowler. Hope to see an influx of Golden Valley bowls down this way in the next Vic Open, Maddie. I'm kind of thinking because of the weight. I wasn't convinced who had shot here, Maddie, but Kirsten's weight would maybe feel that they might think they're down. But we'll see what Trish does here. She's playing backhand. And also, it could be, but the way they head set up, they're both thinking, well, let's just take the shot away from each other and get it first. But Tris has oh, played Tris. a fantastic bowl. <laughs> Another toucher. Ooh. Nita Jenkins puts her finger up. If I was in Kirsten's shoes, I really like the forehand because they can lock their bowl into the two bowls of uh, Tris and Anita's and she gets Jack while well, she's got two of the back stuff. We're just a fraction wide for the weight. As I said, the swingers are a tricky shot sometimes. Personally, Maddie, I'd go straight at it. <laughs> yeah. As you said, it's a draw or drive, I think. Just looking to get this jack back slightly. Oh, if she can just draw and happen to just touch it three or four inches, she'll make three or four here. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, can't say they haven't started well. Definitely a narrow line, Matty. Yeah. Just said that's where that swingy mm, weight's tricky. That. It's mm. tricky. Right. We'll uh, give everybody a bit of a, an early update on the rinks next door and, and uh, tell everybody who's playing. On the rink next door, we have Lisa Arnold from Morwell Club and Tara Hale from Morwell Club, and they are playing Julie Simpson from Lakes Entrance and Joe Martin. That's the other ladies' semi final in the pairs. And I'm just hitting the back button a couple times to get to my men. We've got a substitute used this morning. I know. I'll uh, inform teams. everybody of that one in a second. Julie will definitely give you score updates. As, uh, and 
And then the men's pair semi-finals. Hang on, it's, we'll just track Triss's last bowl here. Is that one taken at the I'm shot, Matty? Not sure. Morning, Matthew. Checking in from uh, Batemans Bay again. Morning, Petraea. Yes, I agree. Exciting day. All right, as they're going to measure, uh, one semi final was meant to be Matty O'Brien and Dylan Fisher versus Simon Cullinane and Darren Gordon. Now, Dylan Fisher couldn't uh, play today, so there's a sub. And the sub is Joshy Corliss from uh, Bandura. Josh is now obviously leading because he is the sub. And uh, Matty is skipping the rink. And uh, Simon's from Port Ferry. And Darren Gordon is from Dunkeld. One, two, Triss and Anita. And the other Sammy um, is uh, Colin Venendale from Mitcham who we've seen on the stream before, and Thor Shannon from Essendon, who we've seen on the stream before, uh, playing Mitch Sidebottom from uh, Tally Groupner and Matty Robertson from South Bendigo, former teammates at Tally Groupner together, and even Shep Golf. They have actually been together at a couple of clubs. So they are some cracking men's pairs semifinals. <laughs> Morning, Vinny. <laughs> Hope you're feeling well, Vinny. Nice and rested up for your big semi-final clash later today in the men's singles. Morning, Casper John. Ocean Grove member. He'll be uh, checking in on uh, Brad Pavey later today in the men's singles. Yeah. I heard Casper's uh, very good with commentary. Yes. Did you hear that over uh, mm, I have to get you on. dinner Casper. conversation? Vinny's 100% that he's uh, fantastic to hear. That's why we, all the locals want to hear that too, Vinny. Yeah. Great support yesterday. Yeah. For the V-man. Not going to lie, he had home green advantage, you know. They're all getting behind him. He raised that extra 10 or 20% there. <laughs> Matty, a bit of a magician. I was going to call him a ninja, Vinny. And smoke bombed it. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> yeah, great bowl from Anita. There we go. Casper would love to join us. All right, we'll have to make a... Organise something there. So we do have men's and ladies single semi-finals later today. That's a fair correction, JT. Very great correction <laughs> from Deborah. I'm going to give everybody at home watching and listening in and viewing who's in the men's and ladies single semi-finals. Morning, Simon. Uh, or as Matty O would call you, the rhinoceros. Rhino. Right. In one semi-final on the men, we have Chris Young from Shalambar Golf. Wimmera's very own. I, um, I'm getting behind Chris because uh, in my role, I look after the Wimmera Bowls region. So big shout out to Chris Young. He's playing Zach Woning from Mitcham, who, uh, talking to Jimmy, he watched a fair bit of his match yesterday against Cooper Crouse. He reckons he was on fire. And the other semi-final is v Vinny McElwain from Truelgan. And uh, he's playing Brad Pavey. And then the lay singles... We've got Ann Draffin. Yes. We got into the final, aren't we? For no, semi-finals. Semi-finals. Semi Ann Draffin from Bal Balan playing Jenny Miller from uh, Langatha. 
bit of a bit of a local flavour there. Um, Ian Hackett's mum. And then we have Jennifer Holmes from Mombok versus Carl Fair from Kiwa Valley. Uh, Barbara's got a question this morning. Good morning, get Barbara. No. Um, so the question was, does uh, the players have to be from the same club? No. Uh, this is essentially a tournament, a carnival, uh, however you want to interpret it, and you can play with anybody. You can even play with Matty O if you're Lucas Protopapas. <laughs> Uh, handy ball from Kirsten. If it, if it flopped over the other way, it would nearly be second shot. They're currently holding one. More to Madam. Vinny's on fire this morning. He's full of cheek. <laughs> Must have got to bed early. Kirsten's just got to fix her lineup. Her weight was fantastic with the first one. <laughs> Nearly the same bowl. She got her own to flop hers over. Yeah, good shout, Adam. A um, lot of club colours being worn around the greens throughout the event. Just missed it a bit there, Tris. Put one uh, narrow, wide. Watch the head. Oh, oh, oh. Simon Cullinane, great soccer skills. <laughs> You would have seen. <laughs> Jesus, uh, happening everywhere. Is Tyson helping out today? Um, there's every chance Tyson might pop on the stream at some stage. We, we've got a couple guest commentators coming in today. Um. The one and only Matty Flapper is going to join us today. Ball there from Kirsten. So one. No, makes it two. Two. Yeah. Sorry. I just missed the f the, the finger singling. Hang on. I was going to put it on the wrong side there, Matty. Morning, Brendan. One of our regular viewers. Loves coming in and saying g'day. It's 3-1 uh, and we've played three ends. We're also going to probably tag in and out ourselves today, Matty O. We need that little five end break. Don't yeah, go in for a nap or anything, Matty. <laughs> yeah, I like that idea yesterday. I don't know why we didn't do it from the start. Oh, well, people get sick of us anyway. They get sick of you, JT. That's it. I get it. We might even hear from Jimmy today for, for a bit longer than the five minutes he's done all week. Morning, David. Okay, some scores from across the greens. Uh, Maddie Robertson playing, well, yeah, no, it's back up again. It went dis disappeared for half a second. Maddie Robertson three, Thor Shannon zero after three ends. I was going to say Matty O'Brien five and Gordon zero after three, but I know Gordon just got shot. Um, he ripped a bowl that clean. Uh, Joe Martin six and Hal two after two. And uh, yeah, our score is three one after three.
Ball there from Debra. Gets shot. <laughs> What's wrong, Matty? You're so up and about for day 10. What's there not to be up and about it? Yeah, true. With you know, finals. I know. Good bowls. Some great finals yesterday. We actually crowned a few of our winners. What did we crown? Three winners. Three winners, yes. Jump on the socials and have a look at all the photos. Great job by Mel Allen. Mel, she's a trooper. <laughs> um, Danny, you can you can say that if you want. I won't disagree with you. Claps from AJ, trying to get Triss's bowl in. Bit of a more open head, this one. Wrong bias. Uh, we'll give you some scores shortly. We, every, every end or so, we'll update everybody. And David Baderworth, Mel is the hardest worker at Bowls Victoria. I, I won't disagree with that one either, Dave. Spot on, David. Who's holding shot, Matty, you reckon? Because it's, it's, they're all that sort of similar distance away. AJ's just called a measure. All right, there you go. That's why I was asking the question. Oh. Tris is awfully close to getting the jack. All right, once he's in completes, we'll give you another score update from across the greens. First reaction was a tight line, Matty. AJ can't call it. Does Tris need off from her last bowl, J2? Oh, she's probably 18 inches, two feet over. Probably just even, even if she fixes her line, that weight's nearly good enough, nearly good enough to count where she'd be sliding under something. I think she's tight again though, Maddie. <laughs> I 
Righty -o. Measure time. As they're measuring, we'll give you a score update on the rink next door, the other ladies' pairs semi final. Julie Simpson and Joe Martin are leading 11 to Lisa Arnold and Tara Hull, three after five ends. Good question, Casper. Thor played 10 days straight. He'd be close, yeah. Yeah. In one yeah, man's... I'd say that would be yes. Great pick up, Casper. Yeah, I can't think of where he wouldn't have. One to... Deborah Bates, and Kirsten Day, makes it 4-1 now after four. And in the men's pair semi-final, Mitch Sidebottom and uh, Maddie Robertson are three. Oh, that scoreboard keeps changing. What's going on with that? Flicking off to 0-0 zero, zero, then back to, you know, it's back now. So Maddie Robertson and Mitch Sidebottom are three. Colin Bean and Dale and Thor Shannon are one. They've played four. And Joshy Corliss and Matty O'Brien is five. Uh, as I said, Joshy Corliss subbing in for Dylan Fisher today. Um, playing uh, Simon Cullinane and Darren Gordon. And they're three. So it's 5-3 in favour of Matty O'Brien's rink after five. Adam, how, um, discussing the state championships. Um, I actually don't know the uh, date. I mean, obviously the event starts on the 22nd of April. I assume there'll be a cutoff point at some point in the next week or so over the, the state pairs, uh, state championships week. So um, Jimmy's the man and we'll have Jimmy on shortly, so maybe we'll fire that one at Jimmy. Question. Should be good, state championship week. Always love it. We have the one and only Ian J.R. Ewing just accompanying us by the side here. Vols Australia Pathways coach and state coach. He's given me the look of I'm not coming anywhere near commentary. Don't think Ian's ever been short of a word though. <laughs> just not in his head. <laughs> yeah, good leading by Anita. No, nah, we're going to actually have Jimmy come in in a second, Maddie. So oh, I'm going to do the first tag out. I think you need to do 10 straight just to get through the situation, <laughs> and then you can have a little break. No worries. Then I'll give you a chop out, eh? That would be nice. Do you need anything? <laughs> Peppermint tea. <laughs> would be lovely. You said it, Danny. <laughs> Good question, Adam. No, there's no doubt uh, 
Um, we probably didn't get quite as many entries this to this one compared to the one at Shepparton, but that was always an expectation. Having two Vic Opens in the one bowls calendar year was always going to be tough. Um, we understand that. Um, but we have had nothing but positive feedback regarding the actual format, you know, getting most of the events done over the two days. Um, a lot of the players that are down here have said, well, if we get through, we know we're going to play that second day. And if we don't, we can go off and explore. If they've got their kids, they can do something with them. Um, I even had a, a good mate of mine, Brad Orr, who uh, he's not here, but he even said, I love the new format. He goes, it makes me want to come down when it's on next year. If we can get um, some more of those supporter events going. Yeah, you know, like, I mean, there's people who love playing bowls. Kirsten, a little flick of the jack. She guts that. Would have been all right. I think uh, Nita and Triss holding two at this point. We're actually going to have some uh, paddlers join us throughout the day too, Matty Oak. Yeah, that was fantastic yesterday. Makes a huge difference in trying to predict who's shot. And I reckon Triss is counting two again. I just say, actually, it could even be three, four. Plenty of room, though. Oh, Much better line here. here JT. Much better line. Oh, it's, Ooh, if it's not shot, it's got to cut a... F well, it's not shot, but I couldn't see that bowl. Uh, Deborah was in the way, but it might have cut a few out. She only lacked probably, what, six inches and she would have had shot. Foot. Last bowl the end coming up, Matty Oak. Tris was even contemplating trying to get rid of Kirsten's yeah. bowl. It's always an interesting one when the jack's short of, uh, the bowl is short of the jack, and that one's well short of the jack. It's, sometimes it can go wrong if you attack a bowl like that. All right, I think we're going to have another measure. What's this be nearly the third end where we've had to have a measure to declare the end, haven't we? And as uh, they're doing that, Matty, I'm going to take a You've little been break. Tagged out. And we're bringing in. Uh, oh, I might give him a pump up today just because I'm feeling nice. The one and only Jimmy Whitehead. Morning, Matty. Morning, Jimmy. Good to have you on. Yeah. Been watching some of this? Uh, no. <laughs> Just 
Started off with um, some really tight heads, but it's just loosened up a little bit over the last couple of ends. Yeah, 4-3 on 5, pretty close game. Good uh, encouragement from uh, Kirsten there. So this is your length, Deb, let's go. Positive skipping. Next door is 11-3 to Joe Martin over um, her opponents, Maddie O'Brien. She's Kirsten's partner, leads 8-3 after six. And Maddie Robertson leads Thor Shannon 4-1 after five. These are at the semi-final stages of all the pairs. Last day, the Vic Open, some tired, weary people around, mate. There's probably some tired, weary people at home watching as I was in a stack of bowls. Why did we say we were doing 72 hours of live streaming we're probably down in the last eight or so hours today now oh she grabs it does AJ she tickles the jack the jacks move so much on these uh, needle punch surfaces huh? I've actually seen so many jacks go in the ditch yeah lock, uh, roll lock, yeah. yeah leads rolling it in it's an art form jack rolling for sure oh step got out Good line, I think. Pretty close. Yeah, great bowl for Deb. That's a top, top bowl. Good buzz around this morning at Moore, hey? Yeah, it's good great to feel. see the crowd so early. Yeah, that's yeah, that's what I'm like so early. There'll be a decent crowd later. We've got all the clubs coming down for a bit of a thank you function. Um, to watch the singles finals this afternoon. A reply there from AJ. Yeah, top second shot that now. There's no danger, I think, as Kirsten's calling it. Similar bowl. She can even jack that jack slightly and just push it past that bowl. I'm in a very good position. Gary saying Deb's uh, best on ground. So far. Suddenly I'm very quiet. Looks like I just turned the volume off here. Everyone going to get that. Beautiful morning up in Gibsland. Might even be time to take the jacket off pretty soon. Sun's out. Join the undercover. Trissy's going to have a little stab at this. She's going to have a bit of a run. We highlighted before that those swingers are really hard to play on this screen. Yeah, I, I know JT's been um, talking about that a lot. Ooh. Yeah, no real change. Um, they are. The only thing for Trista, she didn't really want to lose that bowl. She didn't want to sort of play, wait, and go into the ditch. She's known slightly beyond the jack. Gives us a, She probably changes a shot, Nate. She can just spill that jack from the one on the bowl and drag it to her last. Kirsten's pretty similar to Tris in her delivery. Very deliberate movements. Like, like that really good routine that um, it's the same every time. Trish does that thing with her feet where she gets them lined on the mat. And Kirsten's pretty similar. That's, uh, she's covered the tee. Yeah, she's, she's pretty right much drawn on, on top tee. of the tee. Let's see if uh, Trish tries to swing underneath that bowl. I think she feels that bowl's on the line, which is why she's going this swinging weight. This is close. Very close. To getting it off this bowl. <laughs> you could see that happening straight out the hand. 
Devon, Kirsten are st still holding. They're holding two, Dev indicates. Jack's in a far better position for Tris, though. You literally see that happening out the hand. All right. Kirsten wanting to sit one on top of the Jack and make Tris's work hard, but just cutting the line, play perfect way. You back uh, Trish to draw this with her last, Jimmy? Uh, yeah, she'll go close. She's a top player. She taking out the triples yesterday. <laughs> uh, not today, Brad, but we should lock that one in the calendar yet again. I mean, Brad Jana had uh, might have had a quiet night at the footy one time, Melbourne Sydney game. Might have got kicked out of karaoke at about. Late in the morning. You love your karaoke, don't you? I was booing someone. <laughs> <laughs> but the days will take that one down today, I've got no doubt. Can she uh, get this, Tris? It's close. AJ gives her the... I think we're holding sign. I was going to say someone else, but yeah, I'll call it the... I think we're holding sign. Kirsten's coming out down and have a look. If, even if she's down, all she's got to do is draw the jack. If she does move it an inch or two, she'll make three. That's got the shot for her. Because as we mentioned um, earlier, them swingers are tough. Yeah, a toucher, three. Really important. In the context of the game. See a few of the players who were suiting up in the singles later today. Here at Moorle already. Zach Monin is in the men's singles. And Draffen in the women's singles. And Chris Young. Zach's your pick, isn't it? Yeah, Jimmy? Zach's my smoky, I reckon. I, I, I'm, I, he was in good form yesterday. It's Cooper Krauss. I think in the women's singles, I can't really go past Anne Draffen. I think she's going to take it down. So that she's, a bit, she's a bit quick. She just needs to land Ooh. the jack. Deb's right in the way. Oh. She, oh, oh, she's out. Oh. Sorry, Deb was in the way of that shot then. Just missing height. So you get some seating on the green. It's absolutely packed. <laughs> so that's the way. You put the seating on the green. No one sits on it. Um, now we've got a lot of state government and council coming down later today to watch... The finals of the singles and the men's and women's this afternoon. So, well, that's seating reserved for them in the middle and some spectators on the side. Oh, Bobby umpire. Yeah, it's pretty close up. He's an umpire call. Bobby Carlson, come yeah, out. Yeah, he was at the ready. Using the laser. laser. You'll chalk the ball first though, Jimmy. Yeah, I've actually never done my umpiring course, but I know you have. You're an accredited umpire. I'm a national umpire. Bobby's an ITO. So what's the level up from national umpire to ITO? Then How do you go about doing that? Um, you don't apply to us. I think it's straight to uh, Bowls Australia mm -hmm. to do that one. And, and what's the difference? Like a year, uh, what have you got to do to get that? Or, I'm, or I'm asking you a question you don't know the answer to. <laughs> <laughs> What's the difference between an ITO and a national umpire? Like, is it experience? Is it a course? Is it? Yeah, it's just that that up upskilling. Yeah, that little bit higher. You know, can do these sort of events. Mm -hmm. You used a laser measure yet? I haven't. Oh, actually, we had oh, <laughs> bad experience at my club with one. Mm -hmm. Um, worked perfectly in training. I thought oh, I'll bring it out and put it in the game, and mm. I, I couldn't get it working. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I looked like a yeah, yeah, an idiot. <laughs> yeah, give it to Tris. AJ's got the dead eye. She called it early. They were holding shot. They're leaving us up through five, through six. Sorry, real cagey game so far. This. 
Score updates from the other one. Maddie Robertson leads Thor Shannon 6-1 after six in the men's pairs. In the other semi-final, Maddie O'Brien leads Simon Gordon 12-3 um, after seven. Joe Martin's 11-5 up. And uh, this one we're all tied. So we've got the pick of the bunch so far. A close game at the four. Just a reminder, we are on the clock in these semi-finals. Two hours, 15 minutes. Haven't tended to get near it in the three bowl pairs format but we started 50 minutes ago it should be fine for Deb. No one nailing it in the opening bowls. It's one of them greens where if you're not 100% concentrating, it's easy to miss your line. It's running about 16 and a half. Quite wide. Jay going jack hole with that last one. Deb got to find some correction now, Maddie. She has corrected quite well when she's missed. There's a lot of balls just rolling through, isn't there, Jimmy? Yeah, that sort of indicates they haven't fully got to grips with the green, but still plenty of ends to go. I've seen some tight heads actually in this game, like the, the little bit I've watched. So the last end until the jack up split was pretty good. And this kind of, th th this direction of play, it's where the, there's a new function centre being built here at Moore. It's pretty much 90% of the way the, the building's up and stuff, yeah. but there is a oh, okay. tiny bit of wind down there. Like that's the colder side of the green. And a little bit of wind, so I don't know if that's having any effect on this particular end, but... Inside's good. Oh, tried. Mario, just choking on some spicy peppermint tea there, mate. <laughs> <coughs> <laughs> uh, it's a bit delirious. Day 10, final day of this 2023 Hensel Lawrence Vic Open. Got the under 18s happening on the green behind. Tris. Again, just drifting through, like a few bowls have. Uh, Sandra, uh, Deb Bates and uh, Kirsten Day are both from the Yarra Glen Bowls Club. Anita Jenkins is at Somerville. Yeah, I reckon she's Somerville, um, which is in the Mornet Peninsula. Trish Dolan, MCC. <laughs> Some geezer just walked straight from that camera. <laughs> A 
Hey, Brooke, uh, pretty close to locking them in, I reckon, next couple of weeks. Um, we'll have some announcements. Just got to sign off with a few other stakeholders, but be similar time to this year. At the end of the Victorian pennant season. Work to do for Kirsten. Awesome, Casper. Be great to see you, buddy, up here. Ocean Grove always being a stack <coughs> wherever they go. We'll get him on commentary too. Yeah, Jimmy. We could find another Grover. Still got a uh, Brad Pavey live in the singles. I'm sure he'll bring a crew to watch later this afternoon. Trish adding another. She's got to draw the shot, yeah, that's all she's got to do. Oh, I mean, that's, that's all she's got to do. I mean, it's a bit of an underplay of <coughs> drawing the shot because it'd be a good bowl. Looking to go forehand, though. Probably would have gone backhand at it, Jimmy. Look at that hoop. That mm. is open. Open. She hold around. Not going. He's still put Anita and uh, Triss in front for the first time in the game. Both won three ends each. Oh, could be looking at four here. Yeah, I'm certainly counting them up. Uh, Jake, straight after this one, I asked at a half hour break for lunch. Um, so about a 12.30 start for the um, pairs finals. We'll be streaming the men's, I'm fairly confident in saying. But yeah, I, I'm sure you can see from this stream, you can... See a bit of the game next door, so I'll have the women next door and we'll um, <coughs> give updates. Talking about next door, we've got Martin on 12. Mm -hmm. Joe Martin. Have a Tara Holt, 12-7 after nine. Exactly the same score in the O'Brien-Gordon game after eight, though. The other in Matteo. Yeah. And I, I think that was a four, Matty. That's a big, big four context in this game. Uh, Sandra, yep, yeah, if you uh, don't have a partner, we have the Vic Open Hub on uh, a Facebook page, which has been a great resource for a, a lot of people to find partners um, in the multiple events. But, yeah, if you do sign up and you're looking for someone or you're wanting to sign up and looking for someone, either post on there or get in touch um, with the office. Probably me is probably best. Um, and I can try to pair you up with someone. So it was a four, Jimmy? It was a four, mate. Big four in the Ooh. context of this game. Doubles their score in one swift blow. And they are eight four in front now. AJ and Tris. This women's pair semi final. A good fun partnering people up actually, talking about that. I gave the example the other day, the mixed pairs where someone pulled out and uh, there was a lady, Anita Slate, who was uh, looking for a game and I didn't have a male partner so I just literally walked into the bar at Tar Taraga <laughs> and shouted out, is anyone looking for a game in the mixed pairs tomorrow? Any males looking for a game? And Phil Musto, the superstar, put his hand up. Them guys actually got through to the third knockout yeah. game. They had a great run. And they uh, had a ball playing with one another and they've uh, locked it into play together 
next That's year, which is great story. what it's all about. These Opens, I know the Australian Opens are the same as well. You meet lifelong bowls friends, it's great. The great Barb Gilbert, who we saw yesterday, was uh, she was fantastic at connecting people. Mm. Pretty sure she told me, I don't know, yeah, I'm pretty sure she told me someone she put together many moons ago, and her uh, husband and wife as well. So, <laughs> there you go. What, after the tournament? Yeah. <laughs> Last day to get 50 bucks off a set of bowls as well, with hence a lot. They've been, uh, they've sold quite a few sets. Across these last 10 days of hence a lot. Thanks, Peter. It's great feedback. You were great to watch on the live stream as well in the game against uh, Sammy Atkinson the other day. Went right to the wire, that one. Open head again. Oh, if someone can nail a draw shot here, take control of the end. <coughs> Got a few issues with the Robinson and Shannon scoreboard, but it's flicked back now and it's Robinson nine, Shannon one after eight. Mitch and uh, Mitch Sidebottom, who's leading up for Matty Robertson, is he's that's a good combination. Form. He's well, he's a former uh, men's singles winner in the Vic Open. He's uh, Mitch Sidebottom. Matty Robertson took the mixed pairs down in Shepparton with uh, no, he'd ever. Mark Ryan did he took down the triples? Matty Robertson in Shepparton. You know, the Vic Open just gone as Trish draws shot. Does give a jack eye bowl for Kirsten to land on though. Big end for uh, Kirsten and Deb after just dropping a four. They don't want to let this game get away from them. They'll give themselves a massive mountain to try and climb. Close, Maddie. Close, close, close. Oh, right through the gap. It's a funny old game. Balls. So close yet so far. on a forehand the white one's on the way in her, her leads Anita's she's going to want this to run as much as it can doesn't quite get there Kirsten will go again pick that gap with the last one see if she can make a slight correction Just looking where the danger is on that little conference. I guess the only danger is that Jack going back for her dropping a number. Does she play the forehand, Jimmy? <clears throat> well, that's where our bowls are coming in, but I, I actually reckon she's going to go cover at the back because if Kirsten did nail the Jack, um, she could be four down, bowl going with it. So, knowing Tris, commentating on a lot of her game, she's a pretty um, forward-thinking player in terms of what shot's about to happen next. Yeah, you're onto it. 
So I reckon she does go for cover, which she does. And to get to AJ's foot. Yeah, pretty good there. Gets the furthest back on the rink. I don't think she'll be uh, hunting for the jack. She's just It's rather a draw, and if she happens to be slightly over and gets the jack, that's a good result. I think trying to sit the bowl is what Kirsten should be focused on here. Just a draw shot. Just arrive in the area. Sit it out for one. Another big bowl. Disappointed with that, Maddie. Yeah, I reckon that's two. It is two. Ten four now. It's definitely my fault. Kirsten and uh, Deb haven't scored since <laughs> I jumped on the commentary. Four ends in a row. Yeah. 10-4. Uh, Jules, we've got 12-1 to Maddie Robertson over Thor Shannon. 14-7 um, to Maddie O'Brien. The number one Maddie O at the venue. 12-7 uh, to Joe Martin next door. Over Tara Hall. Yeah, 10 4 in this one. Uh, Sarah, I'm, I'm pretty. We've got a full debrief to do, obviously, as we do from any event. I'm pretty sure it will be um, similar, if not the same type of format as it was this year. Seems to be pretty well received from the players. I know we all know this sport. Any change in this sport is 50% uh, for, 50% against. Um, but yeah, it seems to have been well, well received. Um, but we'll sit down and go through it all in a couple of weeks' time once we've caught up on some sleep. Start there from AJ. Yeah, top stuff. Just starting to be a bit more consistent. AJ and uh, Trish. 14-7 uh, down. Trish is... Uh, well, it's 14-7 to Maddie O'Brien. After nine. I've seen a lot of this T to T in this game, Jimmy. Bit of a strategy, maybe that Tris and yeah. came into with. Yeah, it's it's uh, it's always good to come in with a game plan for sure. Seems to be working from the last few ends anyway. More room for error on a longer end, hey. Now fourteen seven to O'Brien, Trish. Yeah, great lady. Yeah, good stuff. But your brother uh did have some of the best footwork on the green earlier. From uh, two rinks over he managed to stop a bowl careering in the head in this in this rink. Quick as I've seen someone moving a while on a bowl's green. He looked a bit sore after though, you see. <laughs> <laughs> Actually thinking back to is it Lauren McLaughlin who played with uh, Brad Pavey. Oh, she yeah. did a great save. Used to be a state softball player. Yeah, right. Converting across sport. 
Yeah, Jed, I've heard a few people with the best losers. I'm, I'm not convinced on that personally. And my reason why is I have seen firsthand at the AO people do some pretty questionable things to make sure someone qualified as a best loser. And um, I'm sure... I, yeah, I don't know. It's I, I can see the I can see the uh, conversations both way for it. And John, yeah, triples four. We sort of always had triples at the um, Vic Open. The AOS four as a, an event organizer that probably spent that probably went did over 120 phone calls the other day for the singles alone. Um, trying to find that one extra person <laughs> is uh, less of a headache for some. But yeah, we did sort of oh we. We did have fours, I think, way back when, and it dropped to triples five or six events ago. And we seem to enjoy the triples. We play a lot of fours, obviously, in pennant, something different. Definitely opportunity for growth. We obviously, I did the under-18s mixed pairs event that's happening today and yesterday, and they're on the back, the other green here at Moore, so back green, both level, but um, as we can't fit them all on one, the number of teams in that. Pretty tight tussle over there as well. There's a few teams on a couple of wins, so that inaugural under 18s title, well up for grabs. Got kids from about the age of seven right through to 18 playing, or just under 18. It's great. She can get hold of this jack. Mm. Close. Yeah, very Ooh. close. Well, if she can get hold of it with her neck, she's... Uh, and we'll put the pressure on. Big ball here for Kirsten. Cut this down. I don't want to drop another big number. How's the weight? Track's great. Trish looking to get this front toucher here. If she can move that jack anything back off that tee, she's uh, going to make a number for her and Anita. She's certainly good enough, and she's in good enough form. She'll add another to the count. Holding two, probably oh, three. The signal from Deb was three. Mm. The big bowl needed from Kirsten. I don't know if this. It's going to hang around on the inside. It's oh, a cracking effort. She's probably cut it down to one now. The weight was superb, actually. If she could just find that line, she'd be all over that. Good cut down, why would it just one? Just the one, good stuff. Probably keeps them, I'm not gonna say alive in this game because there's still a while to go, but stops it from being extremely difficult. Eleven four after nine. You'd definitely rather be on 11 than four at this point in time, but you gotta make something happen in the next couple of ends, Deb and Kirsten, it's five ends in a row they've lost. Scores on the rinks next door. Robertson 12, Shannon 3 after 10. Matty Owen, his substitute, Josh Corliss, doing well. 18, Gordon 7 after 11. And Martin is 13, Hull is 8 after 11.
Great start there by Anita. Thanks, Joe. We thoroughly enjoyed it too. It's been a, a big old time, that's for sure. There's a few of us that need a sleep or a day off. <laughs> um, but it's been great. We, I think it was on the first live stream we did of this Vic Open. I said we've got, I don't even know how many games we said. 35 games we've done, 34 maybe. Which equates to about 80 hours of streaming. Which is uh, it's a big task, but it's a great way of promoting our game. We love it. You've done most of the donkey work, mate. You've been in the a bit of heavy lifting. Why don't you sit back and let you and uh, JT bring this home? Yeah. Well, I've been, you know what I've been doing today, this morning? Just been having selfies with uh, a couple of fans out there. I've done a couple oh, of pictures. Here we go. Right off. Someone said, can I get a photo? And I'm like, you're kidding. I'm like, actually, you're kidding. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Really? Yeah. Two. <laughs> Turn it up. <laughs> was it the American girls again? No, it wasn't. the Because it was uh, Chris Lapham from Ocean Grove. And uh, my new mate, Andrew Linford from Blackburn North. He's a ripper, he is. So can, can, <laughs> can I have a selfie? <laughs> Legit. With the great Jimmy Whitehead. I've oh, heard, I've heard it, it all. I know, I I've heard it all. <laughs> uh, it's good fun, mate. They had, they had a great time. Um, Andrew and from about, North Blackburn, did you say? Yeah, Andrew. Yeah, he's a ripper. Yeah, he... Um, talking to Josh Corliss, he knocked him off in the singles and he's stoked with that. He's oh, been a former state player, Premier League player. That's what it's all about, hey? You, you can take them big scalps in events like this. I was having, having a chat to him. I think he's thinking about becoming a club coach, oh, which awesome. is great. Yeah, cool. We're looking to uh, restart those courses probably early May. Oh, the game next door was another four, but I think it's the way to Joe Martin. So she's going to be 17-8 up now, and that game's getting close to being done. Uh, ladies from Lakes Entrance. Yeah, thanks, Clarke. Hey, we've had some, a lot of help, a lot of people jumping in commentary. It's been good. We've got Muddy Flapper coming in this afternoon. Tyson's been good as well, actually. Very good. And he's growing into it, which is good. Getting more confident in his call. Do you reckon that front one's holding now? Bowl of dead baits. It could be two. Mm, not for much longer. No, Tris is... Oh, not great ball. for much longer. Great ball. Clutch ball. Some important bowls yesterday in the final when um, Michelle Tate's team were holding numbers. Mm. Tris came in and stole it. Hey, she took out the triples titles yesterday. Um, Kate Argent Bowen and Sophie Kersman. Tris stole it. Hey, we just sort of mentioned that anyone could take anyone's scalp at this fake open. Um, Phil Crowder and Leonie Flynn taking down the mixed pairs. I don't think they would have... I mean, I'm sure in their own, in their dreams, they would have said, oh, we're going to take down this title. But they they were absolutely wrapped getting that far and getting it won. Some great balls played from both of them. Oh, Leone's cut down. I remember, still remember that. Mm. Six down to one up. I'm sure she's telling Phil about it. <laughs> yeah, look, Brian. Uh, I'm not using JT as a barometer for anyone's good commentary. He's just a uh, bit of bit of noise filler. I'm going to get him in for the last five ends, so we'll... Yeah, I'll be tapping him on the shoulder very shortly. <laughs> Go for a lie down, Matthew? Oh, I might just go for a little bit of a walk, I think. I'd, 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 I'd stretch the legs. 
You stretched them off last night. I sent you a boogie in a way, mate. Got a couple of videos. Oh. Anyone wants them? Send me a text. No. Kirsten. Close. Needs to hurry. Oh, don't quite think yeah, she gets it. Yeah, AJ says still holding one, but good reply. It'll change Trissy's shot as well because she can't come that forehand anymore, I don't think. Does come the back end. Don't think she has the weight with this one, Muddy. Right, Kirsten had a pretty good one with the last. Just needs to slightly correct. She can sit that ball. She just indicated with her foot then of. Yeah, if she gets rid of that, it could bring a couple more back in. Needs to be positive here, Jimmy. Yeah, yeah. You're nothing for short bowl there, mate. As you can sit it. Thinks what she's gonna do, Cass, but be positive. So she's trying. It's gonna have to do a lot of holding. She's given up on it, Jimmy. Mm. On the look on her face. Edge, edge. One edge. Oh, <laughs> nearly edge, edge. Uh, I think it's one that AJ entries. Sure is. All right, well, handball it over to JT. Enjoy we'll you later on, everyone. Enjoy your nap, pal. <laughs> Get out of it. Thanks, Matty. It's been a big week, Mario. <laughs> he's he's probably uh, going to have a nana nap. He's getting a little bit. He's getting a little bit fatigued. Yeah. I think he said he seven words in them five ends. He needs to take a good mouthful of cement <laughs> and harden up. Um, and I'm just coming here. Obviously, uh, the game it's changed. You, me, me <laughs> leaving or you coming in, Deborah and Kirsten haven't scored since then. Um, I just want to pick up on one of the comments there. Brian Mansbridge. Hey, <laughs> Podger. Oh, remember this bull? Got you on the live stream at Vic Open last year. And he did a great job. Pot me now. I remember this. Yeah, we'd love to see you. Petraea next year. I haven't been watching intently. I should should do better than that, Jimmy, while I've I'm had a little five-end break. But... Uh, um, just consistency, I went, Yeah, I just went out and checked the juniors for a little bit and mm. saw how they're going on the other green. I think um, I think AJ in the five ends I've been watching this, um, the the sort of middle, of the thirds. Yep. AJ up front has been very good, um, and they've been holding shot almost at every changeover. Well, see, uh, Deborah was really good in the first five mm. ends, so um, obviously that's where maybe part of the, the swing has come from. Uh, Betty. <laughs> the, the Robertson Shannon game, uh, Robertson was in front, but the, the scoreboard's off and, and it keeps flicking on and off, so the players have asked to turn it off. So I um, can't give you a score update that one, but I'm pretty sure you want to know Matty O'Brien um, and the Darren, Gaw Darren Gordon. Darren Gordon, yep. yeah. That's my handwriting. Yeah, that's, that's horrendous. Oh, we know that. 18-9 uh, to Matty O'Brien after 12. Next door, 13-8 to Joe Martin over Tara Hall. Josh Thornton, Maureen. Good morning, Maureen. Oh, yeah, my name is Josh Thornton. One and only Com Game gold medalist back in 20... 18. 18. I was going to say 18. Yeah, correct, Joe. Long ends are certainly working as well. That's been the, yeah, that has been the other tactic. Matty commented on that. That is sort of 
Um, it's not quite ditch to di uh, T to T, sorry, because um, Anina's got the man up a couple, but she's certainly nailing the jack at the back end of the T, going this way in particular. <laughs> Shane McIntyre. Julius Theodore. <laughs> I'd take that one. Um, and Brian Mansbridge, lacking fingers to the right. Yeah, no, I, I use that excuse all the time. I've got doctor's handwriting without the doctorate. <laughs> Yeah, good shout out, Jay. Yeah, Ripper shout out. I think Jay gave a shout out in the um, stream the other day to the host clubs. They have been phenomenal. I just had a chat with Meredith from uh, Yana. Yana. Um, <laughs> they did a great job and she was wrapped. Um, I just, the organisation has been sensational from the clubs. The positivity has been fantastic. Um, they've made people feel exceptionally welcome. I love this part of the world of been working with the clubs in Gibson for a long time in a previous role, Pulse Australia, and I, I knew they would do a good job. Yep. They just just breed them good down in Gibsland. So I'd, I'd never really been down here in, mm. in a large um, volume. You know, I've come down for a Tyrell and Triples tournament once yep. many, uh, five years ago, but yeah, they, I, I was surprised about how close all the clubs were too. You know, and I probably from where I'm from, where mm. we probably have a bit of tyranny of distance between a lot mm. of our clubs in the Murray Mallee mm. and the Wimmera. Um, yeah, there's heaps in a small space. Yeah, right? yeah. Um, it's fantastic. Brian, about 16 and a half this green. Pretty quick. So this synthetic was down before they put the roof over it. Um, so it used to be an outdoor synthetic and yeah, now it's an indoor. It's the older style of needle punch mm -hmm. too. Jimmy Ware, it um, can get quite quick. Which it obviously it is, but it maintains its speed now because the cover's over it. Yeah. Which is different to the one at the, the other side of the clubhouse, which is 14. Yep. And it's the newer style needle punch. And it's a different, like, it is a different style of games you get on the two greens. You probably get a slightly more attacking game on that um, other green. I don't, I, I'm imagining it 14 seconds. Like, I've thrown a few balls down on both. and You can play, play some more, more shots. shots. You know, where I said at the start of this commentary, Jimmy, that I think this green is a draw and drive green. Yeah, that's it. no um, middle. Yeah. The swing shot's are actually pretty hard. I think that's why Triss is going well. She's a very good draw bowler, and Anita Jenkins, who leads in the Victorian state side. She's even played second, second, I reckon, as well, yeah. yeah. She's uh, dialed in to put the pressure on Kirsten and Deborah. I didn't get any of them Churchill slices, Jen, but uh, I know Thorpedale were doing the same. They gave out some amazing uh, jelly slices as well. And uh, Chris Lapham told me earlier, at JT, that uh, the guys at Thorpedale give him a bag of onions to take home. <laughs> <laughs> um, at Merbu North, big shout out to them. I played uh, my single section there. And they had um, uh, like, uh, the, uh, like your sticky bun and some scones. Just available for anybody to eat. Yeah, awesome. And then they just... Oh, that's a big bowl. And Tris turns a jack. That's Sorry to cut you short there. I met you. No, that's all right. Four shots, isn't it? Yeah, it looks... Oh, it's yes. De it's definitely... Oh, yeah. Yeah. Three or four. And then they had the barbecue for everyone to eat yeah, as well. Awesome. All on the house, you know. Like, you know not You're even, kidding. No, not even charging like a dollar for a sausage at the end of the day. That was their afternoon tea. Yeah, right. Big shout out to Merbu North. Yeah, cracking little club. Great story, Merbu North as well. They recruited the local, I want to say footy team, but it could be cricket team. Um, I heard cricket team. Yeah, and they got a lot, lot of younger members and they're now in Divi 1 and going real well. Well, this is probably make or break time for Deborah you, and, and Kirsten. You can't quite see it now because Kirsten's in the way where the bowls is as she's assessing her options, but... The four of them are in a bit of a pack. Does she have a little run at them and try and just remove a few? Or yeah, has no. she got to try to draw the shot? I Well, I again, you don't want to try and interpret how people play because everyone has different playing styles. But me personally, I'd be trying to hit the pack. Because mm. even if you're a tiny bit narrow, you could hit something and rock it in and you, yeah. you get a bit of luck going your way. So um, next door, we have our first finalist in the women's pairs. 
Jo Martin and her partner Julie Simpson have got up over the local team Lisa Arnold and Tara Hall so that's one half of the women's pairs finals locked in mate the right. men's the men's are looking pretty close too I've got a score update I sent JR to do oh, some yeah. work for us because um, I said the scoreboard as you said is uh, not working on that rink between Maddie Robinson and Thor Shannon Maddie Robinson is leading 12-5 after 12 um, Maddie O'Brien's 21-9 up now so it's like right, they need to get two sixes to, yeah. to get an extra end so it looks like Thor has won the last three ends in a row yeah you go in there. And it's been a big tactical change in that game that they've gone basically pit to pit from what I've noticed where I'm sitting. We're having a good discussion about this, Kirsten and uh, Anita, mate. Oh, I, there's a few comments in, this, in the uh, chat as well that drive the bowls is the option. Again, you just don't know whether that's Kirsten's game style, you know. Otherwise it's, it's, it, otherwise, it's probably just a, a backhand draw. Even if it's swinging weight, though, on that forehand, a sit and stay is good. Ditch weight. She lands any of them bowls. She'll probably run through to grab the shot. You'd be just trying to drive. Like, you look at the centre line there, They're obviously where the rink is. If she just played down the centre line, she's got to hit something, you know. I don't think she can get all four, but she can definitely get two or three of them, mate. Wow. Well, if you hit... If you hit the edge of the, of the middle one, front one, there's a possibility of all four, but... It's a Hail Mary. Yeah, Gary's saying the little half runner. I don't mind the little half runner either because I can see the sit and stay. So she goes. Even the half runner, you might swoop on and get the jack still. Anyway, yeah, she's, she's gone it. She's gone what everyone thought. How'd she go? It's Ooh, tight. But you said run in here and something could happen. Not on this one. Tony wearing golf trousers next door. Four it is. It is four. It's 12 the difference. We've got four to play. Um, mathematically, it's not game over, Casper, but um, yeah, you're right. It's probably getting out there. The, uh, Deborah and Kirsten will probably have to win the next four ends to have any chance of winning. Can't see if they drop another end, how they're going to get back into the game. It's going to make it tough. Well, a handy start from uh, AJ, if she can get this one to bend down a bit at the end. Just didn't swoop a heap. Cracking weight. Um, we've got JR staying over there as well, giving us an update on that game, which is good. Morning, Di. Um, Twisty they've, and Chopper. They've, they've just shaken hands. They, uh, they've uh, won the game. They're through to the men's first final. So we got uh, our first. We know one half of the women's pairs final with Joe Martin and Julie Simpson from Lakes Entrance. We now know one half of the men's pairs final. Maddie O'Brien and Josh Corliss. Great lead ball there by Anita Jenkins. And we'll await the other halves. Seems to be a lot of bowls all in the same pack over there on the uh, 
Thor, Matty Robinson head, yeah, well. Jimmy. I don't know where the jack is. Thor's only drawing, so... There's about <laughs> There's eight bowls within a mat. I'd say more than that, nearly. There's 11. Yeah, the great Tony Shaw's just hit us that's over the back. I don't know why I said great, but anyway. I'm sucking up to the boss. <laughs> I wasn't saying that, no, that many nice things about him last night. <laughs> oh, Anita. Ah, she's leading fantastic now. Her weight has been uh, exceptional the last few ends. No, Mary, I don't. Um, they, uh, they started well. They started well. I think... Kirsten's been on a couple of live streams this week, so it's not the first time. I just think um, th th this length has not been a friend of theirs. They've missed the line a few times. So that can happen on a green like this. 16 and a half seconds if you're not fully on it, you're not fully focused. I have a score update from over on the Thor Shannon and Maddie Robinson rink. Uh, Maddie Robinson just got three. Mm. So he's 15-5 up with two ends of play. So this could very well be the last end over there. Decent crowd around this morning. Yeah. The, 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 the reserve seating. It's so packed. Dig dignitaries. It's packed. Uh, for me, I think. What, you need all, well, yeah, let's say you need all 15 of them because my ego. Well, that's right. I uh, walked through the clubhouse this morning, had two requests for selfies. Oh, come <laughs> off it, Jimmy. <laughs> you are. Uh, like, I thought I was full of it. That's worse. Well, I'm, not, I'm not lying. <laughs> well, Legit. Are they? No, I won't say I was going to say. I might have a selfie. Can't see them when I get to by the end of the day. Walk around with the novelty checks and they'll be looking for some photos, <laughs> selfies. That's probably what you did. Look, I got a novelty check. <laughs> All right, Kirsten. Really, really needs a bowl now. Yep. <laughs> even, even Bull said you're kidding yourself. I'm not. Look, I'm literally not. <laughs> Uh, uh, trust me, I think it's just as ridiculous as you think, <laughs> but I'm not kidding you. Were they kids who had no idea who you actually really are? No, or? fully grown adults. Oh, right. right. Trust me, I laughed. <laughs> what are you kidding, didn't you? No, 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 go on. Is that okay? Great. Do you reckon Trish is going for a bit of coverage here? Yeah. Just if, if, if Kirsten does get that jack back. Four, so it's really kind of makes sense. Yeah, she's holding a good number. Is she getting back in? Oh, yep. She draws right <laughs> into the middle of the two bowls, just off screen of um, Deb and Kirsten's. It's kind of last chance saloon here. Mm -hmm. No change there. We strive. So she'll just add another no, Tris, I assume. Doesn't want a jack eyeball on the other side. That's why she's coming forehand. That's, that's the right move. You don't want to fatten the target up. Mm -hmm. You just don't want to give them a bowl to flick off either. Well, they're, they're, they're like they've got four, and if they draw somewhere to uh, near Anita's other bowl here, which he has, they've got five and plenty of gaps. You know, it's not, not the best head to run at from Kirsten's perspective. So if they let draw in for five, I'll take them to 21 4 if they did that, which would be 17 shots in front with three ends left to go. Not technically uh, shake hands time because it's mathematically possible, but six six five. I'd be six, confident six, six, saying six they're not going to get back from there if it happens to go that way. So reminder: I have a quick break, a quick break for lunch. 
Um, be back about 12.30 will be the men's pairs final. We know one half of that, Matty O'Brien and Josh Corliss. Looking like it'll be Mitch Sidebottom and Matty Robertson. Yep. Which is a cracker of a game. That is, that'll be a hell of a front end tussle and two pretty good skips too. Um, and we'll give you updates of the women's pairs finals, which again, we know one half of that. Julie Edwards and, uh, oh sorry, Julie Simpson, not Edwards, Julie Simpson and Joe Martin. Oh. That's a brilliant bowl from Matty Robertson. We just, uh, while Kirsten and Deborah were deliberating, he's turned the jack around the corner for three or four. They obviously played together a bit, I'm assuming, these two, Kirsten and um, Deborah, because they're having good chats, good discussions. Kirsten's heading back to the mat to play a shot. Had a reasonable length deliberation. Yeah, I get it. It's a part of the match where if you don't get it, it's probably very hard to get back from. She's opted for the draw shot. Now a matter of getting down. She doesn't look too far away. Half for fun of that. Oh, that was awfully close. Yeah. That'll be five. And it's... Um, shake hands times in the other... Men's yep. pair semi-final. Our, our winner in that match is Mitch Sidebottom from Tally Grubner and Matt Robinson from South Bendigo. So that's uh, men's pairs final locked in. We already know one half of the women's. We can all know the second half pretty soon. It is a handful for Anita and Tris. And uh, this one... So it's another five. It's pretty much done. Yeah. It's all over by the shouting. Still a mathematical chance that Kirsten and Deborah can um, catch them or even go past them, but they're going to need a five or a six on this end and a five or a six and a five or a six for the end after that as well. <laughs> it would be the greatest comeback in Bowls history. I'll, I'll declare it. I, I'd <laughs> go as far as saying is I would be going on to ask for selfies with them if they came back from here. <laughs> But a terrific campaign, nonetheless, from Deborah and Kirsten. They shouldn't uh, no, they've been turn downhearted. They've beaten some good sides on the way. Not Absolutely. Out Kate argent Band and Sophie Kersman. Who uh, obviously took the triples down yesterday. Uh, no time limit on the ends, but time limit on the game. Two hours, 15. Started around half nine. So yeah, Still uh, got uh, half an hour. So we're Still well within it. Yeah. The umpires can... Um, call in for slow play, play if they feel players are being slow but I haven't seen it once to be honest so no, again as I said it'd be different if you know, game was close and you, you know, your side was in front and they might have been potentially deliberately yeah. doing it but we've, we haven't seen any I haven't seen any of that am so. I going to get nowhere near the time so I won't be too stressed yeah. anyway so. oh if she puts another one in the pit I was gonna, shaking hands yeah would you reckon they'd realise that no oh I don't know yeah no they probably would What is the greatest comeback you've seen in bowls, JT, talking of comebacks? Um, look, it can happen in singles because it's first two versus the ends mm. part of it. Um, you know, plenty of stories of people being, you know, 24 2 down or 24 something down and coming back and winning. Mm. Um, but, uh, yeah, in an end scenario like this, yeah. <laughs> 
maybe three fives to go out. He's potentially, he may be in pennant. He's maybe something that's happened before. Mm. Both the uh, the pairs finals should be cracking games. Yeah, I'm looking at the time now. I might even bring that forward. It might even be like a quarter past twelve start or even a twelve start. Players. Um, yeah. Time for a quick bite to eat in between. And when you're playing, you never want to have a big feed anyway. No, I'm going to go find uh, Matty O, wake him up from his nap, get him back ready for the next game. Make sure he's had long enough. We don't know where mario has gone, Ray. He's, uh, I reckon he's having a nap in, his, in the car. Pretty. Yeah, he's um, he's a delicate flower, uh, Mario. But we love him nonetheless. Lord's gone home, Gary. He, uh, we didn't manage to get him on actually. He did some marking for us. Did Lord yeah, Yacarino he helped us out that that evening? And uh, we had to transfer from Newbury to here. Bit of an anticlimactic finish this one, unfortunately, isn't it, Jimmy? Yeah. Um, yeah, it is. Oh, I tried everything to stay on the green, that ball then. Viv, uh, the, the Vic Open is here again in this area. It's here for the next for, for five years is the, is, the, is the current contract. Yeah, I agree. Uh Shirley, three ball pairs. Like, I, I, there, there's a we've had this discussion before, but people say it's a skips game. I actually think it can be a leads game if the uh, leads on. Hot. I'm less inclined to think. I think it's a balanced one. This one. Mm. I think if uh, you know your skippers on with three balls, they can do a lot of damage. But you know, so I'm a little torn. Uh, where I've always said is two ball triples. That I think the lead has a big bearing on the games because. Uh, you don't have that extra bowl that you do in the three bowl pairs, as an example. And as you don't have three people following, you only got two. If the leader is on, they, it's usually sets a good pattern. If I was if I was picking a uh, two bowls triple side, and um, I'd be nearly stick. And if I was skipping, I'd be picking my nearly my next best player to actually lead and mm, not play second. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I agree with that. <laughs> it is good morning, Gary Dillon. Leads are overrated. Oh, well, you, <laughs> it's your opinion, Gaz. Brutal. Even though I love you. Thank God the Blues got over the line yesterday afternoon. They uh, they nearly kicked themselves out of trouble. Talking to get in over the line, it'd be Anita Jenkins and Trish Dolan in the women's pairs final. As Kirsten misses with a swinger there. That'll be game over. And... Uh, We'll be back around midday. Yeah, we're going to come forward a little bit. Yeah, come forward. Might as well snatch half an hour. Um, thanks for joining us on that. We'll be back about midday. Got the men's pairs final. Uh, this Henselot Victorian Open. So that'll be between uh, Mitch Sidebottom, Maddie Robertson, um, and Josh Corliss and Maddie O'Brien. We'll see you then.
the Morewell Bowling Club is your place for fun and food. Come and try bowls and make new friends. Have coffee or bring the family for lunch or dinner. The Morewell Bowling Club. Visit us today on Hazelwood Road. It's time to experience the wonder of Gippsland's West amongst the rolling hills of Mount Borbore. Discover a tranquil green wonderland where spectacular forest waterfalls flow under mountain ash canopies. Explore historic fernline townships dotted amongst vast rolling farmlands. Enjoy artisan wineries and providors selling locally grown delights and the best that Borbore has to offer. Gippsland. All kinds of wonder.